In this video, I'm going to be talking about Renown, how it works and the best way to earn it. Keep in mind that even though this is all recorded in Season 5, all methods will still work in Season 6 and onwards. If any changes are made, I'll update this guide. Something I want to point out before we get into this is that Renown gain has a huge drop off as you progress through the Plunder Pass. In this clip, I completed the Shroud Breaker 3 times on my main account and went from level 92 and a half to 92 and 3 quarters, whereas on my alt account, after completing it 3 times, I went from level 1 to over 2.5, so keep this in mind when watching this guide. For each of these methods, I'll be placing little icons down in the bottom right to show how effective these methods are for crew size. From left to right, they will symbolise a 4-man crew, 3-man crew, 2-man crew, and a solo player. Green means it's really easy to complete, and red means it's much harder. If the symbols are greyed out, that means I don't recommend this crew to do this method. If you have any questions on these, feel free to ask in the comments. So by far, the best way to earn Renown is by doing the Season Trials. However, there will come a point where trials become inefficient. For instance, going to the Trials of Gold and completing to order 10 for an hour or two giving you a level isn't really as effective as some other methods I'll be showing you. To add, you can also wait for a Golden Glory weekend to complete these, as you get bonus Renown over this time period. What events are a great way to earn Renown? In order, I'd say the Fort of Fortune grants the most, then Skeleton Fleets, then the Fort of the Damned, followed by Normal Forts and Ashen Winds as the worst. What makes Fort of Fortune the best is the free Skeleton Lords and the Ashen Lord that spawn in the last few waves. If you're able to kill these, this is where you get your main Renown. At higher levels, I was still able to gain around 3 levels per Fort of Fortune. In order to make world events easier, you can also visit treasuries that are nearby, and take their tridents. These are super effective in every world event, apart from skeleton fleets. We also tested to see how much donating loot grants were known. This is a whole fort's worth, so around 15 to 20 items, and it didn't really give much. World encounters like the Meg, Kraken, and Skeleton ships are decent for Renown, however on larger ships they require a lot more resources to take down, so it may not be worth the hassle. If you're on a sloop, I'd always recommend just quickly finishing one of these off, as it, the Renown is worth it. So for this video I was brainstorming in different ways in order to make Renown, and I wanted to test out uh, Voyages to see how much they grant. Now I wanted one that didn't have multiple chapters and was as uniform as possible. I then remembered the ghost fleets that the Order of Souls grant. These voyages require you to sail to an island, defeat 10 ghost ships in the first wave, and then defeat the flagship in the last. They're super easy and you got me from level 19 and 3 quarters to almost 92 and a half. I'd highly recommend doing these between world events if you're on a larger ship. Treasury were a new feature added in Season 4. They're pretty easy to complete, but require leaving your ship to swim to the bottom of the ocean. For that reason, I don't recommend larger crews to do this method, as they can go just go to world events. This is a good alternative for those on the sloop. In this clip, I completed the treasury solo and got around a third of a level just in about 10 minutes of fighting. Now, this method is a very unique one. For the past few seasons, it's been known that if you spawn trap skeletons on ships, they grant a lot of renown, and this is true to an extent. I feel this method is only valuable up until level 60, then the renown gain becomes weaker and you're earning around 1 level every 20 minutes, which isn't really that good. To add, Rare have tried to patch out this method by the looks, as roaming skeleton ships now despawn after being spawn trapped for around 10 minutes, meaning you have to do this in the skeleton fleet. They've completely patched the Shroudbreaker method, as the Coral Skeletons no longer give you a known when you kill them. I would avoid trying to do it this way. This method involves you capturing an animal, killing it, then repeat. It's very simple and grants a lot of renown, however it isn't crew based and only gives renown to the player who picked up the animal, so that's why I recommend doing it as a two man or solo. Once the island is empty of animals, the whole crew must go to the ferry so that the animals can respawn. Make sure to do this on bigger islands such as Cannon Cove or Crook's Hollow. If you found this guide helpful, feel free to give it a like and subscribe as it does help out the channel. If you like guys like this, then feel free to check out my best money making method as a solo player. And with that, I'll catch you in the next one.